In order to remove the fuel rail, you have to remove those two 12 mil bolts and on the right and left sides, you see two 10 mils. As you can see, I'm using an external fuel pressure, fuel pressure regulator, but you have the the OEM one it's gonna be pretty much the same and here you have to remove these four connectors before you start to tear apart all the fuel lines you have to find where is located the Form relay or the fuse. You need to remove one of those two, then start the engine until the engine shut off by itself. You has to be very careful uh, when you are going to remove the lines because. You want you you gonna you gonna find um, pressure build up and if you don't release that pressure you gonna you gonna get you gonna get a really big mess when you replace those injectors you have to use a little bit of oil or any kind of lubricant so. Now it's just a matter of remove all the four original injectors, then swap with the WRX. 800 CC ones. guys you had to apologize me because I left one bolt 
um, fall into the into the ground and I had to jack it up the car to try find the that bolt and at the end turn out the damn bolt when fall end up inside the front engine mount in the empty area between the the metal sleeve and the rubber was was really hard to find it and I had to <laughs> look everywhere for that bolt and take me like 15 minutes and as you can see I forgot to change the the camera view so I pretty much lost the record footage when I was putting back the fuel rail sorry about that what happened when you use those such a big uh, new injectors with the already fuel map on the ECU for now um, I have to leave the car aside until I can get my another ECU to flash it uh, on this car write the review maps and timing also we can add two steps
damn. No choo 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 yet. Thank <laughs> you. 